Let me give an example of going from a schematic representation to a transfer function using an old homework example. Okay, and find the transfer function. So it's an op amp. So whenever you see an op amp, you look at those, those golden rules. And those golden rules say that if there's negative feedback, then your input voltages will all be the same. And similarly, your, well, another golden rule is that the um, I sub plus is zero and the I sub minus is, uh, is zero. There's no current flowing into the op amp. Of course, there could be current flowing out of the op amp. And my rule for analyzing any kind of op amps is to do KCL at the inputs and never at the outputs. Okay, let's start off by doing a KCL right here. So the current that's going down, that has to be Vs over one over SC. And then the current that's moving to the right here has to be Vs minus V out all over R. And all that has to be equal to zero. So that's correct. And now we've got only our only variables are, are our outputs and our inputs. So we can solve that to find our transfer function. So we can get rid of this in the denominator by multiplying top and bottom by SC. And that gives us VSC plus one over RVS minus one over RV out equals zero. Now we can start. Sorry, yeah. is that just like Vs times SC, right? Vs times, yeah, you're right. That was, there we go. That's clear. Thank you. Now we can multiply our Vs. We can combine those on one side and we can put our V outs on the other. We want to find we want H of S is equal to our output over our input. So to find our output over our input, we will divide this, we'll divide both sides by V S. Let me just write this. One over R times V out over Vs. So to isolate this on its own, we're going to multiply everything by R and we get um, SRC plus one. And here's a great way to check dimensionality. One has no dimensions. It's got a dimension of one. You know what the dimensions of RC are, right? I mean, it's Ohm's times farads, but we've talked about RC in a different context before. It's equal to time. We've talked about the RC time constant. So the dimensions of RC are in seconds. And we said that these are in seconds. And we've said that the dimensions that S is like taking a derivative. And you know that D over DT would have to have direct dimensions of one over seconds. And so this would, this is dimensionally correct since this is one over seconds times seconds.